In this video, we're going to use the Silverstone five and a quarter inch aluminum cover bay for slot loading slim optical drive and four two and a half inch drives to add four more bays for SSDs into our HP Z820 loading into the uh, five and a quarter inch slot here in the front. So that way we don't have to use something like an adapter into one of these trays and we can have all of these four three and a half inch drives and have our SSD drives, our two and a half inch drives in this mount here. This of course will work for any other kind of computer as well. It's going to be exactly the same thing. But first we'll unbox the adapter here. This is the SST FP58B. Now this actually holds one of those slim optical drives as well, which I don't need because I already have an optical drive in there, but I didn't like some of the other uh, mounts that they had because they left a hole on the front of the of the actual computer. I don't want dust getting in there. So you get your screws, get your, you know, instruction manual. This is a metal unit, brushed aluminum finish there. So there is the unit. Of course, this will pull off so you can slide in that slimline drive. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna use a slimline drive. I'm just gonna use this for SSDs. And you can take a look through the manual here. It will tell you how to put everything together. We're not really going to look at it that close because it's pretty self-explanatory on how all of this uh, how all of this connects there. But it's pretty, you know, pretty simple. And because we're not going to use the optical, we actually have room for more than just four. You could put four the way they'd go in. You'd put one in there, screw it in the bottom, put one here and you could screw it uh, to the top. So basically uh, that's what you'd have. You can also of course use a uh, normal two and a half inch hard drives if that's what you prefer. Um, I'm not going to because these of course get hotter than SSD drives, but that's of course an option if you want. Now because we're using, uh, not using the optical drive, you know, I could maybe put uh, you know two and a half inch there, two and a half inch here. Of course, I could stack two on top of this, and you know, one here, one there. And because we have this whole top free, we could put more on top, either set it there, use double-sided tape, or if you don't mind not having four screws, because all of these hard drives have uh, four screw holes in them on the bottom, so you can you know, screw them in. As long as you don't mind not having four in every single one, you, know, you could just put two in one, two in another, or just one, really, because these things, you know, as long as your computer's not moving around too much, they should uh, stay put, but double-sided tape will work as well. You could literally have, you can't really fit two side by side here, but you could have another one up top if you want. So you really could have five uh, if you wanted, and if you wanted to get creative, uh, you could probably get more in there as long as your cabling reach, but you could get five in there, or you could be stupid and you can <laughs> put it together like that. But right now we're just gonna put two SSDs in here. And there's plenty of screws in included. So you can take this apart, which of course you'll need a screwdriver for. If you want to take it apart, of course you don't have to take it apart. You can just line it up, put your drive in, all right, flip it around. And hopefully you can see that the holes will eventually match up. And whenever they match up right there, holes are matching up. Just put a couple screws in there and you're good. Uh, good to go. So now the unit is disassembled. And you can see where all the holes are. I don't think I need to explain this. Hopefully you know how screws work. And uh, you can just screw these things right in. So I'm going to go ahead and screw these in. All right, so there it is. Just the two SSDs in this case. You could always, of course, do more on the top if you want. Maybe set one on top here if you want. That's all we need. I'm not putting the slimline optical in there because don't need to. I just went with two screws each. Four is a little bit overkill for these lot, really light SSDs. They're not going anywhere, in my opinion. Then what we need to do is put the faceplate on here. Got holes on the side, of course, and the included screws. So let me go ahead and screw this together. All right, so there it is. Looking pretty, looking pretty. Nice brushed aluminum look there. SSDs in there. Plenty of room for at least one, two, probably get at least three more on there, I'm betting. But now we need to install this into our computer's five and a quarter inch 
port here. Now, this kind of depends on your case. You may need to unscrew something to get that tray out of there, or it may just be a blank right in the front where you just sort of reach in here and push out. On the HP Z820, it's a toolless case, so I just got to pull this, and I can literally just push that out. And now my port is free. And guess how it goes in? Just slide it in. There we go. Pull this, and it will lock into place. There it is. So now we just have to hook up our hard drives. Look at that. Nice and clean. Fits right in with everything else on this computer. So now all I have to do is plug in, of course, our SATA power. Plug in your SATA cables, obviously, to your motherboard. I'm assuming you already know how to, how to do that. And then go ahead and fire up your computer with now your at least four more spaces for two and a half inch drives. And in my opinion, use this with uh, SSDs just because they're so close. I, I really probably wouldn't be using spinners just because they generate so much heat. So four more spaces for uh, SSD hard drives in your HP Z820 or any other computer for that matter.